My name is Sarah Shakil. I am a professional collage artist. I make art out of art. And this is my full-time career that I do. My um, shop at St. Doris, it went well, um, exceptionally well initially. A lot of people liked it and um, let me tell you beforehand, um, I had no idea how it works as such. So for me, it was a new experience and anyways, a lot of people loved it. Um, the whole concept of making new things out of broken vintage items was itself a very unique idea. Okay, after two years, after two years, RetroWorks had to be shut down because I was not putting my effort into it. Sadly, because of my teachers and, and my, my institution, they, they were not very um, supportive of it. So I would always say that um, my, my condition um, psychologically and that brought RetroWorks down. It was not a failure, it was me not being confident about my own work and unconventional way that a girl in the next year in her medicine has a big centaurus shop and she doesn't understand it. So then when I failed my fourth year, I became a collage artist. Now the day when I started off, I made paintings that was out of depression, that was out of unhappiness, I was not happy. And I made art because that was my loophole into happiness and you know everything will be right. And then um, obviously my things went viral. When you have 15k to 20k uh, start, hota hai, a lot of companies approach you. Printing and t-shirt or phone covers company approached me and they were like, Sara, we'll give you like a certain percentage. So, not from Pakistan. Every, I'm not a very famous person here in Pakistan. No one knows me here in Pakistan. So, someone from the UK, they, uh, they messaged me and they were like, Sara, you will give us percentage, you will give us pictures and we will print it. You know, we will sell that. And then, um, a lot of people bought my merchandise. And I was like, retro works is, I mean, though I've closed it, but a lot of people are now buying my art. And then, um, not just one company approached me, a lot of companies approached me. And uh, Miley Cyrus shared one of my artworks too. So um, now out of my work, out of my Instagram profile, I am working, I worked with a lot of people as a freelancer. I worked with a diamond company, uh, Sue Gregg, she actually gives um, jewelry to Rehana and a um, lot of other major artists in Hollywood. So I've made artwork for her. I am working for Universal Music in Poland. So that's, it. she's a, Natalia is a music artist. So I make artwork, album artwork, and jitne bhi posters lagenge Poland mein. So I make that for her. It's a diamond edit. Plus I have worked for a lot of people. Alongside, I sell my prints too. And that is a major, major um, achievement because a lot of people, a lot of people ask for my prints. And um, yeah, so mainly I'm working for a lot of jewelry artists. So there's a lot of jewelry artists that are working for. The reason why I got famous was my diamond art. Each picture heals a part of me and I hope it heals a part of you too. My name is Rabab, I am Chocolate Affair. I'm a business graduate from FAST. All of this started four years ago that I decided I need to have my own business. So from January 2013 onwards, I set up Chocolate Affair. Then onwards, there's no looking back. 
I used to do my uh, business from home. It was only home based. I used to take orders online. It was just B to C sort of a business. But later on, when my daughter grew up, she was a little settled that I took orders uh, from companies and from businesses. Ever since I started, uh, these four years have not been uh, pretty difficult with small kids, with a family, with a, with with in-laws. Uh, it wasn't a cup of tea, but I I was persistent and consistent in my work. It was a slow growing business when I when I was doing it online, when I was doing it from home. So everybody told me, especially my husband, that you need to uh, you need to if you want to go big, then you need approach commercial air places. So for that I approached uh, Shell F7. That was a prime location, so I felt that people will uh, stop by and uh, they really like my stuff. They offered me to have my to have my display over there. As a woman entrepreneur, I do have to face hardships, more hardships than a male would, but, uh, but that does not stop me from doing what I'm doing. My name is Amna Khalid and I am the owner of Sugar Street. It is a home bakery that I started two years ago and from baking to advertising to delivering, it's a one woman show. You do face downfalls when you start up any business and especially when you're a woman, you can't think that you won't face obstacles, but consistency is the key. My piece of advice to the women entrepreneurs would be to find something that you really love to do, something that plays to your competitive and comparative strengths and oftentimes it means you'd have to get some appropriate education to build up those strengths. So education, finding, finding your strengths, finding your passion is the beginning.